Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I start work on the Grandmaster of the DEX. It's an Akamichi 1000 DXL. That model is from 1981 and it's been produced for about like two years, I believe. Uh, that is a DEX with computer control automatic calibration of azimuth and all three parameters like level, equalization and bias. Uh, that's uh, one of the most famous Nakamichi decks and it costs enormous amount of money. In 1981, it did cost 3600 which if you will convert into today's money, it will be around $18,000. All right. Oh, probably, no, I, I messed it like with uh, the one which is golden, so about $10,000. The golden series of this deck, which has a, like 24 carats plated uh, face and like some elements, uh, that costs $6,000 in 1981, and that one like, cost $18,000 by today's money. Imagine like, will you pay that much for a cassette deck? Today probably no, but the years, like, years back it was a really great deck with a great sound. All right, so what's going on? I will not turn it on round right now, because owner said when he opened it, the capacitor just fall out. It's 10,000 microfarad capacitor, as you may see, and no, uh, legs looks to be like cut. So that's where like I should be cautious and I will carefully pull it out and let's see together what's going on with this guy. It looks nice. I opened the door, took a look on the head, so it's worn, but probably still will work fine because many Nakamichi hats I have observed. Uh, in most cases, like even with a significant wear, they still work pretty fine, all right? So now let me pull it out of the wooden box and let's see how it will behave, what's going on with this guy. Uh, owner told that he powered it on, but it's don't respond on any buttons, and I can easily understand why because 10,000 microfarad is that sits on the power line, and if there is like pulsations happening, so probably CPU cannot work. Let's see, and I meet you just in the moment. All right, I was able to pull it out so far. Let's see some bands around this door let's see if it's still fine inside uh-huh that's how it look like okay and here we should have a battery compartment uh, we still have batteries i need to check what those are if they still work they look like some japanese batteries really no leak that's a good sign all right so next i will remove this top cover here and i will remove these four screws and this panel uh, will be uh, opening back like that all right let's see where this capacitor came from and what's going on inside see you in a moment here guys the back panel holds on five screws Two from each side and one screw here in the middle. All right, someone already taped this screw, which holds this power supply board. And here we see that capacitor is missing. I believe that's one which fall out. So can you guess what could be a result of this damage? Uh, to make it fall out like that, the only reason I may imagine... Oh, this one, don't hold either. 
See? That one is bad. So this deck probably was dropped. It was, uh, even if it's dropped like to, to get this damage, I, I have no idea what should happen. All right. It's only if something drops from top of here. Uh, that's where like uh, I have to recap the power supply board first. Make sure that all transistors work, power is up before we will move forward with anything else. Also I see there that wires are uh, just like uh, wrapped around this post. So no connectors here. I would need to disconnect everything there. So that's from indicator board, I believe. Uh -huh. Let me see if the traces are still holes. Uh, I'm not sure how to show you. Maybe, maybe trace is broken. Plus, everything looks pretty bad here. All right. That's why I not power on when I observe like <laughs> that capacitors are missing. All right, let me see. Oh, that's a battery connector that goes from this box. Okay, I, I measured batteries. Batteries are good. It's going to give 1.54 volts. So, all right, let me see if I can restore this guy. We have lots of work to do. If we have all these cups in this shape, I don't know what, what else can be happening with this deck. Now, I have many capacitors, but I don't have 10,000 microfarads that I will have to order. I need to check the others. I need to check the board. So I will remove three screws which holds this. Uh, ah, it's even not hold it in place. It should not be that flexible. Okay, let me see. Let me open it and I will show you what's, what's going on there. Okay, guys, uh, this left screw was taped in because uh, the hole is uh, is like fully out, so it, it just don't hold anymore. So the screw can easily put, pull out. Here you may see the capacitor issue. So let me make a marker. So you see, it just don't hold. Take a look right here in the middle. It's disolder it. Um, I see there, someone was trying to fix it already. The trace was broken, as I understand. And we missing capacitor right here. <coughs> so, there is something heavy was dropped when like it was open or well, the deck overall was dropped and there's a consequence like because this board is heavy lots of capacitors and it just like cuts the screw and capacitors get broke <coughs> all right so we also need two six six eight hundred capacitors here excuse me <clears throat> all right let me order capacitors and let's see if this will help and will deck will start performing. I see also here something is wrong with this black. It's not soldered well, as you may see. Oh, oh. that's unfortunate. That's that's how your decks get broken, whether during shipping. Or during accidents, when you have them open and drop something heavy inside, all right? Other parts looks to be connected. This board sits well. Okay, other boards looks to be more or less fine. But we don't know about it yet before we will connect everything and make it running, all right? 
see you in the next part. I hope it will be in a week from now. Uh, I would not power it on without all capacitors replaced on this board first. Okay. See you in a week. Bye-bye.